I started writing when I was about 11 or 12. And like, well, it's just funny because that's when the problems really started to come out. Realizing the weight isn't the real problem. It was, it was pretty devastating really because I thought, oh, okay, I'll lose the weight and I'll be fine. But no, it was the mental part came up and that was, that was pretty terrifying. Andrea crawled the distance to the table and propped herself up, her body struggling to move at all. She made it to her feet and watched transfix as the red swirled around the glass as she poured. parents they raised me to be very polite and kind and I think I took that as be a pushover to an extent and I, I let other kids just kind of walk all over me and I was just like oh okay this is what friendship is and I just I started to put on weight at a very young age. When I was around 15 I weighed approximately 134 kilos which was crazy for a 15 year old. I was purposefully skipping homework and assignments because I wasn't able to do them, basically. I'd wake up, I'd go to school, I'd get home, and actually straight away I'd just go to sleep. So Andrea picked up the glass, raised it to her lips, and threw it against the wall. The smash satisfied something deep inside her, as did the dark stain dripping down the wall. But it wasn't enough. Sobbing, Andrea grasped the entire bottle of wine like a bat and shattered it against the side of the table. It's difficult to describe, like I just kind of accepted that I wasn't worth worrying about really. And like I got to a point where I was still very young and I was putting on weight faster than I was growing. So my body, I, I do have scars and things like that, which is very difficult to, to you know, grasp at such a young age and especially as a, a guy. I would say that I was the closest point that I could be to being depressed, really. Like I, I genuinely thought I was. After... A year and a half of exercise, I lost about 30 to 40 kilos, and I felt no different. I realized for about seven years I'd been this, like, shell of a person. I was seeing a therapist and I still see this therapist and I think it's something that everyone needs to do really like just have someone to talk to and uh, like at this point if I didn't have this person I don't like I would just be so like numb I definitely found that writing was its own therapy and it, it definitely got me through a lot it was a blur of glass and wine and spirits Andrea felt unclean and the only conceivable way to cleanse her life was to rid her house of any and all alcohol. It had to go. The bottle of vodka took three attempts to break, but eventually it smashed as Andrea pl pelted it at the sink. It was like my escape, even from um, like to the point where books and games couldn't go because it was all me. Like it was my decisions. I had complete control. So I think it was a very safe place. It was a very slow process, but I think that's what you need to do because you put you put the weight on slowly. You have to take it off slowly, and as as frustrating as it is, you there is no other way to do it. Start singing. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy
at the moment it's it's pretty chill actually i um i basically i get up pretty early and depending on what day i'll have um personal training or gym like that's that's a pretty big part of my lifestyle now i exercise prob probably too much like i'm trying to um put on muscle so i i need a lot of carbs so i'm going for like um the more healthy breads like um sourdough and rye and stuff like that and also lot of, lots of oats So I'm trying to kind of work out kind of who I want to be and I'm just kind of starting kind of starting from a fresh template which is weird but it's also kind of cool. <laughs> Fitness has become such a big part of my life like I'm going to keep exercising like oh, that's not going to change. But I've also got to keep going with the um, the mental side, I guess. Like that's I'm still really needing to catch up. I'm very I'm kind of still very unbalanced. Where like physically I'm um, I'm where I, I want to be. Like and I'm going to keep going with that. But the mental side is still it's still not where I want it to be. Nathan slipped onto the bed, his heart in his throat, and tapped his son's shoulder. But there was no response. So Nathan took his boy's cheeks in his hands and whispered to him. He said anything and everything, but the boy was still. Nathan moved onto his side, wrapping his arms around his son and shook him. He was sleeping. He had to be sleeping. I want mental health to be a big part of my writing. Like seeing as writing is what I want to do with my life. I'm going to, um, I guess, do my best to represent mental illness and things like that realistically through my books like that that's kind of my goal to make them realistic but relatable i'm hoping it goes somewhere yeah